Hello everyone, hello, how is it doing, how is it doing, fuck, I'm already off on a bad foot, how is it going, how is it go um, apologies for the late start, it's a mighty, mighty fine late start, Jesus Christ, uh, basically, yep, work took a bit longer than I was expecting, then I came in the house, checked Twitter, Twitter was like, oh, there's a summer sale on, on Steam, <laughs> so I went on there, you know, went through my wish list, been like, hey, that's a massive bargain, that's a massive bargain, that's a massive bargain. And pretty much just had to turn on, um, what do you call it? Not Prid Mode, Conservative Mode? No, <laughs> definitely not that one. Uh, what is it? Frugal? Frugal Mode, that's it, that's what I'm looking for. Because I pretty much went for anything that was like over £10, I didn't, well apart from like Satisfactory, because I've been wanting to play Satisfactory for ages. Basically, apart from that, I bought everything I could find that was like under ten pound. Apart from the Final Fantasy games, because <laughs> I checked that if I was to buy all the Final Fantasy games from one to six, even if they were like seven pound, it would still have fronted me like oof, quite a bit of money. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? You know, you think if you buy things at like single digits, it's not gonna cost you that much money and it just adds up. It just adds up without you realising. So I spent about what, fifty pound? Which isn't too bad. Like I bought like seven seven, eight games. So they're pretty good as well. I basically just bought the Dead Dead Rising. Uh Dead Space Three. Which I'm probably gonna not gonna believe for a long time. Probably leave that for either this Halloween or next Halloween. Probably next Halloween, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I basically just wanted to complete the collection. I was missing that one. So, <laughs> see if you've seen my Steam library, there's like a hundred odd games on it already. It's ridiculous. Considering I only just got this computer like a few months back. I buy too many games, like I swear to God. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this. I probably said this already, but I've played this before, but I've never finished it. It would be a really good start. It would be if I actually put the audio <laughs> to my own freaking headphones. The legend of Sparta. I was coming through the monitor then and I'm like, what the feck is happening? Alright, oh, here we are. Long ago, in ancient times, a demon rebelled against his own kind for the sake of the human race. Yeah, I've, I've played like the start of this game, but I've never finished it. So can't wait to actually manage to finish this. A lot of people love this one as well. It's apparently the hardest of all the Devil May Cry's. By the way, just a heads up, don't expect me to get to this game quickly. Like, the first and the second game. Because, holy shit, there's a reason why I've finished the other two, but not this one. <laughs> oh. 
Oof. I tried to finish it. <laughs> you know, I'll be perfectly honest, I tried to finish it. And then I think I get distracted because there's a lot of grinding. You kind of need to do in this game to become decently powerful compared to the other ones. At least grinding I would need to do. A lot of people can probably do it first attempt, but I generally can't. And how this game works is it's basically a, a prequel. So it's, it's like the first Devil May Cry chronologically. Which is why Dante looks as young as he does in this. Should I have a tutorial? Eh, do you want? I think this is... I think this is a game where they first introduce the whole like trickster and like there's... what, what is it again? There's like a system where it separates the skills for the swords, the skills for the gun and uh, other aspects. I think this is the first game that started doing that. Which I was a bit surprised <laughs> you know, to come across that. Because the first game, and I've, I said this the last time, first game I played Devil May Cry was 4. So by then they'd pretty much solidified the playstyle and the mechanics and all that. <laughs> this is when I first came came back to it again. Because it's been a long time since I played 4. Like, I barely remember the storyline apart from the fact that Nero gets introduced into 4. Then this game, this is the one that properly introduces Virgil as well. For other people who know Virgil was in the McCry 1. Can't remember if Dante actually mentions that or not. I think he does. Either way. Oh, and here's an interesting fact as well. I'm not sure if it cha they changed it with the special edition or not. But do you know when Devil McCry 3 first came out in the West? Normal difficulty was the hard difficulty for the Japanese version. They, they, I'm guessing they must have messed it up. Either in the translation, or I, I'm not. I'm not even sure. So I'm not, I'm not entirely. Wait, wait, what is this about Atlas? Hmm, illustrations done by Atlas. Hmm, that's that's kind of awesome. Yeah, should I do not? Okay, give me a second. I'm just gonna. Like I am not good at this game. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm. I'm gonna put a point blank. Before expectations get set up or, or anything, not good at it. So, I don't like doing easy mode. I, I've never liked doing easy mode if I can help it. So if it is easy mode, generally, I'm not touching it. Fuck that. I have my pride. You know. So, but if it is actually still normal mode, then I will pick it. Because I don't want to make this unnecessarily fucking hard for myself, for no good reason. Alright, here we go. Easy mode is not available at the beginning. Ah, oh, fucking hell. That's the original goddamn thing. Give me a second. You know what, fuck it. I'm going to play as normal mode because I'm not finding anything immediately to suggest that when that they've changed it back or if it's still the same or whatever. whatever. We're just going with normal. I don't like the idea of doing... Okay, what? See, this is this is the part where they should maybe explain like, the differences in difficulty and also like what the fuck this is. Oh, gold or yellow? Oh, what's your favourite colour? That's basically what this is amounted to because it doesn't goddamn tell you what the difference is. Uh, yellow means that when you die you can continue from last checkpoint if you use a yellow gold orb. Okay. Gold means that when you die you can continue from the last checkpoint without buying. A yellow gold orb. If you use yellow gold orbs, you can continue right where you died. Hmm. 
That's interesting. So basically the yellow system is the original system for the McRae. Choosing yellow means that the continue button, uh, the continue option after you die starts you at the beginning of the mission. Using a yellow orb starts you at the beginning of the room you died in. Gold means the continue option after you die starts you at the beginning of the room and using a gold orb instantly revives you. Yeah, yellow sounds like a bitch. On death you must restart the whole level, fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy this guy's quite point blank in the forum. There is no reason to choose yellow. <laughs> okay, alright, that's good. That's good. Let's go with gold then. Cause I don't want to needlessly just torment myself because fuck that. <laughs> Alright, gold. Alright, what is this? Why is it giving me the option to select the easy or normal again? So what's the point? I just do a wee quick save to start off. How far did I actually get in the original game? Oh, I'll go to mission 7. Alright, cool. Normal definitely. Alright. Three and a half hours. <laughs> Back in 2018. Hmm. Told you it was a well. Yeah, game, I know the game day already exists, don't care. What the hell is Demo, Demo Digest? Why is that? There's not enough explaining in this, I swear to God. There we go. You've heard of it, haven't you? The legend of Sparta. Then we just watch this. When I was young, my father would tell me stories about it. <sighs> Things will set through again. In ancient times. He's no doubt if I skip it. Against his own kind for the sake I'll skip like an additional cutscene added on to the end or something. He shut the portal to the demonic realm and sealed the evil entities off from our human world. But since he was a demon himself, his power was also trapped on the other side. I never believed it. I thought it was just a child's fairy tale. But I discovered that this so-called legend wasn't a myth at all. Sparta existed. How do I know? Well, I met the sons of Sparta. Both of them. Though the same blood of their father flowed through their veins, the two battled each other fiercely like arch enemies. It seemed as if they derived some sort of twisted pleasure from this brotherly fighting. It's so weird seeing Virgil with his hair down. <laughs> Spitting the major don't you like that? Of course they use a katana, because why not? Graphics are still a bit rough, aren't they? <laughs> yep. I'm gonna guess this was still on the PS2. Sorry, not open for business yet. 
This is when he first starts his business. Who the hell is this guy? You a customer too? <laughs> well, if you want to use the bathroom, help yourself. The toilet's in the back. Is your name Dante? Son of Sparta? What are you accusing me of? From your brother. So I'm guessing Virgil was after the stone. He just does not give a fuck. This party's getting crazy. <laughs> Let's rock. This is just getting ridiculous now. Alright, here we go. Yep, the style system. First game in introducing it. Select from four base styles, use your selected style action to show the enemies just how crazy this party can get. Alright, Swordmaster, Trickster, Royal Guard, and Gunslinger. I don't think I ever used Royal Guard once. When playing these games, I think that's basically just de defensive mode. Defeat enemies are no uh, enough enemies, and eventually your style will level up. Earn your new wondrous style actions. You'll master a new style action every time your style advances to the next level. Gain experience points by defeating the enemy. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome. Change styles mid game via the mission start screen or by accessing a divinity status mid mission. Oh, really? Was it in 4 that they introduced so you could switch it with the D pad? Or am I just misremembering? So I don't remember having to do that. It seems a wee bit needlessly finicky. You begin the game with a tri the trickster, style pre selected. Oh, wonderful. Well, first few get one. I can't change it. Oh, we can? Can I change it? Oh, I can. Good. Let's put to avoid enemy attacks. Actually, no, maybe I should go with that. I think I vaguely remember someone saying before you want to level up Trickster to start with, because I think there's benefit, like really good benefits to it. When you're all hold the the left stick towards the wall, circle, dash, hold left stick, okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Yeah, so basically that's how, how it goes. You, you build these up and you unlock new skills and it just becomes a lot more... It, it more or less just becomes daunting for the first game. A bit better once you get fuller in. I assume, because as I said, seven missions and that's it. Minimize the damage of an enemy attack. This move allows the player to maneuver in a more strategic position. See, the problem with going for, for Devil May Cry 2 to Devil May Cry 3 is 3 was, uh, 2 was easy. <laughs> this is going to be anything but. It's going to be harder than 1 was. Grand 1 wasn't even that bad. But this it fucking well is going to be. So what does the blue orb do again? Oh, information. This one's maximum life. I heard the best approach is try and get the as many of these as you possibly can. I assume to you know, boost your devil trigger. Ten thousand rail for good, holy shit, okay. All I remember is in Devil May Cry 1 I basically never ever bought <laughs> any of these. Which probably really hurt me in the end. What can you do? Great thing about this game is though, which we're probably going to end up doing, you can go back to previous levels and grind, which you could not do in one. I'm not, I don't think you could do it in two either. Right, Stinger, remember that one? Air hike, yeah, definitely remember that one. But I'll just, I'm taking a while to get into this, I'm just familiarizing myself with all the menus. Alright, mission start. Of course there's a taunt button. <laughs> Alright, move, taunt, pause, lock on, melee attack, triangle again. Still action, shoot, yep, yeah, that's pretty standard. Yeah, the controls are pretty similar to one. You notice how the guns just don't have the same oomph as they did in 2? Yeah, that'll be a prevalent theme. You basically just use them the same way as you did in 1, just knock the guy up in the air and then just keep them up in the air using the guns. It's the best way of using them. That stuff just depends on the timing of each attack. Kill, kill, kill. Repeatedly press square to rapidly fire an enemy with ebony and ivory. Square while jumping to fire mid air kill. Oh shit. As you can probably imagine, I use level I use the first level of this game to grind. That's how, how I basically just powered up to get through all of the missions. See the way I'm talking about this game, it sounds like I played through it all but I'm fucking not. Once I get past level seven, that's when we're gonna be in new territory and that's when I'm gonna get my shit completely caved in. <laughs> if we even get there. Oh yeah, I should probably mention. I won't be streaming for the next week because I'll be doing a lot of moving around and decorating all that shit. I need to get a carpet in, I need to get new wallpaper. So yeah, this will be the last game I'll be streaming for, well, as I said, a week. <laughs> I changed the lock on by pressing. Oh, by pressing it, okay. Oh, green orb. Awesome. I 
I know it said depressed <laughs> to move targets, but I'm fu fucked in that. I'm just gonna re retarget. I think it's so much faster. Oh shit! Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Okay. I don't wonder. It's the fact that I'm, I played 1 and 2 just recently <laughs> made this a lot easier for me. I shouldn't get more confident, that's where you get screwed. It's level 1 as well. I honestly can't wait to check out Devil May Cry 5 because I've, I've got it sitting there. And I'm not going to play it until I finish all the previous ones on stream. Uh, bye bye. Like one done. Nice. Get a save in. So basically how it works with this game is, see as long as you save, you keep all the experience, uh, the red orbs you get during the level and the upgrades. So how come I can't puff just proper orbs yet? Is it because we've not unlocked Devil Trigger? Probably something to do with that. Yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but see when it comes to items in these games, I just don't buy items that often in this, because the more often you buy the items, the higher the price goes up and it becomes a much more of a nightmare to get enough money to buy them, but suppose this game, that's not really a problem, because go back to level 1, Grain, 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 grain. You know, eventually have enough. So in a sense, even though people regard this as like the hardest Devil May Cry game, well, I've not, I've not looked at any five, but I assume that's not as hard. It's then a way the more forgiving one because you can just grind until you're strong enough. You just buy blue orbs. So. this? I don't know it's yeah, hey, by concentrate magical energy into an area under your feet, you're able to perform a double jump to reach higher, more strategic. Oof, that's 20,000. Fuck. <laughs> Let's just get Stinger. I reckon Stinger's probably a good investment. I use that plenty of times in the first game. I'd hate to stay in Donnie's city, it's just a brown shithole. Totally like Ooh! <laughs> oh yeah, they are. All about the style. And bye bye shop. I hope you all have enough to cover all this. <laughs> Do I go wonder if this is like the first game, uh, the only game that actually takes place like right next to Dante's base? Special moves. Input certain commands to ex execute powerful special moves. I think blast them into the. Yep, we know that one. I'm loving the music. The music's so good. 
Well done, Triangle. Your character will rise into the air as well. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you get yeet. Oh, what's that glowing thing there? Oh, the strike is so much better in this game. Fuck. Oh, fuck yeah. Fatal Star. Oh, they did not stand a chance. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, what is this? What is this? Problems? Problems? Let me guess. Yep. Alright, evasion. Got you, got you, got you. Oh, completely dealt with there. Do you know what, the combat is actually really satisfying in this. Like, it's got more oomph compared to the previous games. Especially 2 2 was very bad for that. What the fuck is that? Is that the Grim Reaper? Oh, boss. And done. Or just straight up brings forth a tower of Babel or Babel, whatever. <laughs> Do you know for the longest thing I thought I thought Dante was in like Italy? But then I played this game. It's been nearly a year since we last met. And it's like he's just in the middle Middle East. It's basically just surrounded by a desert this entire city. Is that a freaking whale? That's elevating quite well. Bump kits. Do you know what might be making a difference? The fact I'm still in trickster mode. Because by this point when I played it before, I just immediately just swapped over. The sword master. I 
I come in? Well, doesn't it excite you? The Timinagru has revived. Timinagru? What the fuck is that? Who once ruled this earth as the medium between the human world and the demon world? Isn't it a magnificent view? The greatest minds of their time, those who revered evil, constructed this glorious edifice. Now, after two millenniums of confinement, it can at last fulfill the purpose for which it was intended. That's none of Course, he's taking good care of it. After all, it is the only memento left from the mother you both lost. But he has no idea of its true power. So you get for being a pain in the ass. Alright, mission three. The second of Dante's companions. <laughs> oh, do you see that? The burnt body spelt a three there. Have they been doing that for all the missions? I've just not been noticing. Still can't get purple orbs yet. I'm actually kind of tempted to save up for air hike just to get the additional elevation going on. Let's get some boost for it here being in ivory. is that? Of course, now we've got range shit to deal with. Right, double jump. Oh, double jump would be great if there wasn't invisible fucking walls. That's better. Oh, if I 
last time we won. Is that a shotgun? Blue seals release the door sealed by solving the puzzle. Oh, right, it's a puzzle, right? Something that's in the way, smash it, orbs and other items are hidden. Oh, that's a good thing you told me about that, or would I completely forgotten that's a thing? Back again, I see. You know, as much as I love the idea of a shotgun, even the hybrid just sits way too well. Oh, we can switch between them. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's actually generally a good upgrade. So I don't even need to pick between them, I can just be like, oh, I'm feeling shotgun. Control the camera with the right stick. Alright, cool. What the fuck are they? They'll give you enemy a chance to breathe by relentlessly attacking them with high speed combos. Kim, do you honestly think I've not been noticing that this whole freaking time? Oh fuck. Oh, he get wrecked. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm getting in a swing of this. Why did I think this was so much harder? Yo, I'm putting it down to the fact I switched immediately to the Swordmaster. That's what I'm putting it down to. Because this is fine. Oh, did I just backtrack? Okay. If memory serves me right, this is the first proper boss of the game coming up. Yeah, a lot of people consider it one of the hardest bosses in the game. I'll see if that holds true once we get through this next bit. Alright, blue orb, awesome. Come on, Dante, just. There we go. Prophet Demon Blood 1 can attain the power of the ancient magic clans. Power up using your red orbs, exchange orbs for items like Vital Stars, exchange orbs to learn new melee special moves, power up guns. You mean what I've been doing this whole freaking time game? <laughs> you, you mean that? Right, so I've only got 4,000 on the counter. 
I'll buy some of these, just um I'm careful. Just buy a couple a couple of these. Yeah. That should be fine. So if I just like save there here. Forgot you could just save mid mid mission like that. All I know is how the fuck. Oh yeah, taunt. <laughs> fuck. How the hell do I use the heal names? So I don't remember the game actually tell me how the fuck I do that. <laughs> is it in stats? Oh yeah, it's okay. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, that saves me a bit of baller. Wait, was that a map option? No, it is. <laughs> That's basically just scrolled everything away. And just put the stuff you think you're gonna use, like front and center, all the, st all the other stuff is just like hidden in bloody status of all places. He's got, yep, this is the boss here. Right? Let's go time. Oh, you know how <laughs> how this is boring loosely for the Divine Comedy with Virtual and Dante? Well, this is another thing that they took from it. Freaking Cerberus. Such a dork. <laughs> All right, let's see how how do I go about this? He's he's not taking any damage. <laughs> Reapply the ice. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, okay, that was a problem. Status. 
issues I've been encountered now. Play one more item. Oh no, oh no. He freaking hits hard, that's for sure. I know I should be aiming for the heads, but fuck me, I am not taking that risk. See, this is a fucking issue. I was doing really goddamn well. And he just breaks it a freaking pain in the ass moveset.
Yeah, he was definitely taking it easy as on us at the start there. Oh, you son of a bitch! I'm just instantly fucking dead. Awesome. Do you know, I would restart the mission if it didn't mean I would have to do the fucking bars and all that shit again. Figuring out his moveset though, we've got this. I bet if I'd done this when I had all my freaking items, this would have been no problem whatsoever. So as soon as this kicks off, that's when the problems are. Yep. He starts being ultra responsive. Did I just wipe our head? Ah, shit, I was so close. I really should just reload that save. Because I've gotten beat. <laughs> I can get them all the way to the end without even having to use an item. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Alright, just wait for the- Yep! He needs to stop that head button, it's really, really annoying.
I get up, I get him in a blind spot. Bullshit! Oh god damn it. Oh he was super beat there, I just got unlucky. Yeah, so basically just focus focus them one of the heads and that's a large part of the problem dealt with. Okay, how is that even hitting me? Bastard! Oh, I hate that hits! Oh, why does that hit? Dead fuck. Oh, I've got him as well. He's honestly becoming so much easier with every attempt. I think the first time I fought him, I was just being overly cautious. Okay, how did that even catch me? What the fuck? Bastard! Right, come on, just finish off one of the heads. He's being a sneaky asshole right now. Okay, no way, I was jumping, fuck you. I am not restarting this mission. They can fuck off. I am not restarting.
I mean, it's a short mission, but fuck that. Yeah, that is such bullshit, the fact that it hits. Oh, come on! I was not in that! I'm s yeah, this is, this is a field attempt. Yep. figure out how that ice attack is hitting. Because that's a good chunk of my health away from even though I'm in mid air. Yeah, I see the, what the problem is with that. I'm basically just going in for attack, which is making me go closer to the ground quicker. So I'm still within range of that attack. Alright, good. Just need to jump at the last second. Not even lying, I would kill for a block one. Uh. Alright, Katie, how's it going? Th thanks for the luck. Our oh, stream has been good so far. It's, it's been not bad. I'm trying, trying to get through the clusterfuck of a game, which is Dead May Cry 3. I suppose there is a reason why people compare this to Dark Souls. Because once you know how to play it, it's not bad. But besides that, it's, it's pretty tricky if you panic. If this was Dark Souls, I would just roll right behind them. <laughs> you can't do that with this fight. Oh, this is good, this is good, this is very good. Holy shit! Oh, it took that long for him to get into his last phase. Super dead. Yep, I'm super dead. Fuck. Hey again. Anyway, Katie, I hope you're having a good day. What are you over there sighing at, Peter? Good day so far. Good. But I didn't do it. Oh, 
Oh, come on. It feels very RNG, this boss fight. Oh, this is not a good start to the second phase. This is not a good start at all. Oh, why, why did I not have a block button? Last hit, come on! No, don't hit, but don't hit, but no! Oh, God damn it! Tiniest bit of health. Oh, yeah, it's partially RNG. This. If you get lucky, he doesn't do like the massive sweeping attacks, or you just get stun locked and things. You, it goes down a lot easier. But <laughs> sometimes you just don't get that. Oh. And yeah, that's really medium to be doing a headbutt in this phase. It's easy phase. My God! Who knows? I'm not even sure. He didn't even get to his second phase that time. Oh, none trucks. A three sided none truck. <laughs> Alright, so that's ice damage. Go. Really? That was all we got for that? And here she is. Are you going to the party? What's the hurry? Can't you give an invitation? Oh, nice one. <laughs> what the fuck? That's mission, what, four? Done? Yeah, I did terrible on that, that was awful. <laughs> that was, that was plainly awful.
looks like we have an uninvited guest. Is that so? Then you mean a woman. I'm afraid I should ask the uninvited one to leave. That is what you want. Actually, I happen to be acquainted with that woman. A storm is approaching. The hell is he? Five thousand. Let's get a blue orb up in here. I recall this mission actually being a bit longer than that one. Select the map from the start screen. Alright, so this is where the map actually comes into it. The map shows off your surrounding area from an overhead perspective. Oh yeah, Katie, I forgot to mention. I bought Satisfactory earlier on in the seal in the the summer sale. Yep. It was about fifteen pounds, which is what, twenty dollars? So pretty good deal. Let's see what's on this map. Alright, nothing yet. Yeah, so we can't get in there just yet. I'm guessing we're gonna gonna need to have Oh wait, no, maybe we can use nunchucks. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Uh, try the game at solo first to get the hang of it, but later we can play together. Yeah, I was I was planning that, just like set up like a small factory at first and then do like a multiplayer type deal. Definitely good to take your, your pace and learn things before joining others. Yeah, it looks like there's quite a lot to it, so I imagine if you just jump right into it, you get quite confused. But kind of like Subnautica is, is, once you get to grips with it, it's not that bad. I think you're over here. Oh, there we are. I'm curious to see what the objective is, because I know you make factories in it. And production lines, but... I wonder what the end goal is, because I've seen some people play it here and there. But I've never actually looked into like the story or reasoning behind the, any of it. Alright, how the hell did I get over there? Hmm, that's a problem. Ah, uh, yep, that's a definite problem now, fuck. Alright, maybe if I go this way. Oh wait, no, that doesn't make much difference. I suppose I'm supposed to like shimmy around the corner. Alright, that's not gonna work. That's not working too well. Did that work? Nope, that just made it worse. <laughs> I think I need that ability to double jump in mid air. And now that's what I'm missing here. Okay, game, I pressed the button. It's the problem with doing remote play, the, the button inputs are a wee bit lagged. And that will forever, forever be my excuse when it comes to PS4 games on PC. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have one more attempt at it. And I'm gonna... Come on, just, just shimmy, 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 shimmy. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, that doesn't work for me. I'll come back there later. I can always redo the mission later on. Okay, what? Right, let's just go in here. Another reason I'd be glad to play Satisfactory is because after finishing like all the other str uh, survival games I've got in hand, like Subnautica and The Forest, I've been itching for something to play like that. Dud, I don't think it's quite survival game in, in a sense, it's more like... I'm not even sure what it is. I know it's like a construction thing, kind of like Minecraft with a bit more mechanical with factories and that, but I don't really know... Oh, it's a fantastic team, team killer. Brilliant. If I'm ever hurting for things to put into time slots and streaming, I can always just put that in. <laughs> uh, during certain, certain circumstances, you can repeatedly press an action to execute a special high-speed attack combo. Alright. Yep. Game, I already figured that out. Shit, 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 shit. Oh! A satisfied trick community in Twitch is really great. Awesome. Whenever I'm playing, I'll need to like raid someone that's playing it like right afterwards. Then we can have a wee chat about it. There is a lot of enemies here. Ooh! Oh, that guy get fucked. Oh, you cheating son of a bitch. Okay, that's unfair. Alright, so that's the enemy situation dealt with. What else is in here? Oh, there's a contraption. To be with the will of the thunderstorm, I, be I bestow the soul of steel. Hmm. Right, so it's obviously not this. I guess we need to find like an electric weapon. And then that will unlock that. It's given a lot of replay value or incentive to come back to previous levels. Hmm. Alright, Silent Sanctuary. Oh, oh, almost missed that. You know, if I was feeling lazy in this game, I could probably just, <laughs> I could probably just like log on, to, uh, go back to this mission, just come up here and destroy that thing again. No, no doubt they probably like despawn it after you've destroyed it the first time. So. Is that kids I'm hearing laughing in the background?
And away we go. Yeah, this is definitely a longer level. Oh! Alright, these should be easy. If I can aim the right direction. <laughs> Oh shit, alright, should, shouldn't be that close to the door. So you can see the music, I'm starting to realise why a bunch of my more gothy friends enjoyed this game so much growing up. Officially follow up the, the tower now. Just need to make sure I don't fall back down. That game pretty much spelled out for me. Head up there, grab that. Ooh, there's, uh, there's thingies down there. This one, I get that ability to double jump. Whenever the hell I want the better. Alright, so we can... Obviously the game wants us to go through the yellow door, but there's also that thing up here. Past this guy. What is that? A tablet there with a round indentation lies in front of a large rotating gear. Ah, right, right. So basically, whatever's in that yellow room, I need to put onto that pedestal. Then that thing's gonna come alive and try and kill me. <laughs> We're starting to get into territories of things I just can't remember with this game. Anyway, as soon as we hit level seven, that's that's me into uncharted territory. I should speak uncharted. I need to play that stream at some point. I kind of wish I kind of wish uncharted was more. Like it had more puzzles and more like intrigue and exploring ruins as opposed to like constant firefights. That, that's probably the main complaint I have for Uncharted, especially the second game. The second game was rife with just constant firefighting. To the point where it actually broke my controller because I was ducking it undercover so much the triggers just stopped working. <laughs> Still, I saw the future knows no bounds for those who definitely march to meet it. Oh crap! Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Come on. Nice try. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I can't accidentally stand next to those guys. I was 
life, so not bad. I should not jump back down there again. What the hell is that? Is this already a boss fight? Yep. Fuck jumping down there. Just like step up. Yep, there we are. Okay, that did an absolute heap of damage. Perfect. Is this a boss fight actually? If so, it's deceptively easy, at least for me, right now. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay, this is actually, actually a concern. Because I don't have any healing items. I just, yeah, I just completely screwed myself. If I can't confirm I'm gonna jump on top of it, I really shouldn't try. <laughs> oh, where's it gonna come from? Right, it's gonna come from there and drop. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I feel like I'm playing Castlevania right now. No, don't bother, don't bother. Just need to get down here. Oh no, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, can't, thank god, okay. Alright, we need to get back over here and hope he does a dip. Yep, there he is. And done. That was really easy. I didn't make mistakes. <laughs> I'm so thinking maybe that's the case for most of the bosses in this, because Cerberus wasn't that bad when I got lucky. I can be nice. Don't try and take my health off me right away. Alright, good, we got the thing. Tactically, that thing in the main room. Alright, what now? And it's a trap. There's not a scene in this with him just trying to do something for the Matrix, is there? What the hell are you? Good. No good. Zip it. <laughs> or I'll 
juice that big nose. That would be a problem. Just hear me out. You've got nothing to lose, Brant. My name is Jester, and I know a thing or two about this place. That thing there is a power generator for this entire sector. In order to open the door, you need to apply a little something to it first. Do you know what that is, kid? That's probably a thing I just picked up. Is this generally another freaking boss fight right after that? Oh, maybe not. Bingo! That is what that something is. Remember that, kid. Write it down on your hand if you don't trust So basically just hit the thing. Oh, B. Nice. Get save in. Alright, now we've got 8,000 saved up. I was going to buy another one of these, but... Oh, wait, no, no, I can. I can. Alright, cool, 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 cool. I mean, I know I could probably get one of these, but... Nah. I'm gonna keep bumping up health until these become available and then I start spending them. I'm giving myself a wee bit though, because I'm not actually spending any points. On getting these things upgraded, which is going to cause issues down the road. But we'll get to that bridge when we come to it. Oh god, I, th I think I recognise this mission. Right, flying enemies. Oh god, here we go. One down. Oh, why are these things so durable?
shit, is something I'm doing wrong here? Oh, bullshit. I'm super gonna die here. I think the game wants you to kill them with this with your guns. Cause the sword was doing jack shit for them. Yep. Yeah, that was my bad. That's so much better. <laughs> Not even a single hit. I know what the hell is this? Oh, a teleporter. Cool. Welcome to hell. Let me guess, boss fight. Yep. Oh, come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Buddy, you're not in a good way right now. Oh, can you stop moving, you son of a bitch? Oh, god damn it. There. Just get lucky, get lucky. Yes. Oops. Of course. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna be a massive pain in my. Yep, pain in my ass. I recall there being a room in this at some point where you need to like destroy a certain amount of enemies in a time limit. Uh, I really hope that was an optional one, but I don't think it what it is. Right, so what do I need to do here? Since we got that thing, I'm guessing we need to take this all the way up here. And put it in that pedestal we've seen. Yeah, there we go. And that opens that door, I assume. Nope, it just removes these. Awesome. The fuck is that? Ah, that was another portal.
The sensor followed there. Oh, it's right there. I see he's doing the Devil May Cry 1 thing where it's doing separate missions but having to come back to the same locations. Okay, I pressed the jump button there. Jesus Christ. That slight time delay in remote play is. It's a bit of a pain. <laughs> Perfecto. Vajra. What of an ancient weapon used to control lightning? There was something that required us to use lightning. I think it was in the green door, wasn't it? No, the blue door. The blue door. I know we just got these nunchucks, but. Fuck it. I can't, I can't change these during this kind of... Ah, it's, it's one of these things where I can only equip it. But it might be between missions. Or one of those pillar things. Like problem because if it is, if there isn't one of these in here, this is a problem. Because I'm pretty sure this is the exact room I need it. Yeah, this thing. Oh, I just used it here. Okay. Perfect. Soul steal the essence of a powerful and fear fearless soul. This possessor need not fear hell nor oblivion. Yeah, but what does it do? Son of a bitch. Nice. Hold the left stick in any direction and press circle and while in mid air. Perform the dash maneuver two times in rapid succession. Nice. That's going to come in handy later on. I don't know what the hell that orb is we've picked up.
over here. Jump down here and jump in the portal. up here. Why aren't we already up here? That's probably doing the thing where it's... It's... Wait, maybe it's to do with this actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's... That's what I meant. Steal the soul. Nice soul. So, yeah. This is what we needed it for. Perfect. And the combat and Judicator. Only technique icy cold to the core can move me. That was a good thing we got these with us, isn't it? Let's be the next mission. Nope. Just in case of whether we save. I naively thought we'd get up to mission 7 really fast. Well, to be fair, we are almost at the end of mission 5, so it's not even that bad. I'm just impatient. What the hell is that? And jump. Yep, saw that coming a mile away. Nice guys, back to full health again. First time I played through like these first few missions, I really did make a mistake by going for that Swordmaster skill set. Because this one is proven to be so much better. It's survival. Sur why can I not say this? <laughs> Survivability. Yeah, that's probably as close as we're going to get. Oh, oh, here we are. Any chance I can equip that Basra thing, or is that would I think that may have just been a, an item. Yeah, we basically don't have enough to do anything right now. We need another 5,000. Right, so what is in this? Firestorm Chamber? It's going to be a boss fight, isn't it? So it's going to be a sucky place to put a boss fight, because this is a long ass level. Yeah, it's boss fight. Fuck. Uh, I remember this being annoying. Dante's so dumb on this. Enough already! How long are you two gonna keep carrying on like this? In case you didn't get the hint, I'll spell it out. Your guest wants to go through. Got it? Our job here is to board this pool. That's right. We can't let you pass. Oh, 
this is gonna suck. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be awful. One down. And just the more troublesome one left. He's going dual wheel, doesn't he? Yep. Okay, that was cheap. I am super dead. a tough customer right there. Come to be a third health though, so. A third off his health, I mean. So this is definitely doable. I just need to be persistent. I'm gonna try and get rid of the blue one first. I foresee him actually being, depending on which one you take out first, him is which one's the. So I think most people would go for the red guy, because the red guy is comes off is easier, at least to me. So I'm going to try and go for the yellow guy. Actually no, it may not make a difference. <laughs> I think it's just an elemental thing. I was generally curious, see if I was to like damage both the health bars. Alright, so I've done a bit of damage to the red guy. I'm curious if it's one of these bosses that's either like honestly and smog or if it's one of these ones where if you just keep the health similar to each other. Once he hits that second phase, it'll be easier. gonna jump when the, when he does that. Alright, let's see if his health stays the same way. It's like a quarter off. Come on, don't get a full health bar. Come on, don't get a full health bar. Oh, oh, his health stayed the same? Yes! We've got a strategy. So basically the plan is leave him with a tiny wee smidgen of health. When they're in a group together.
Yep. That's a strategy. Because most people would just like power down one of them. So you would just have one enemy life, but he ends up overpowered and more powerful than both of them together. So you're better off just juggling them. Until you've got them both down pretty low. I, I need to stop falling for that. Okay, what? What the fuck is happening? Dark Sands, how's it going? So bad right now. <laughs> this is your first time playing, or am I being too harsh? <laughs> it's the second time I've fought this boss, but I've only got to about chapter 7 in this game, I've never finished it. So yeah, it may as well be my first time playing. Did you play first two games slow? Yeah, I did. him most of the way down. Then we can focus on red in a second. Two is horrible. Yeah, two is pretty bad. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it was forgetting the plot half the time playing through it. It was like, wait, was that, was that supposed to be picking up plot points here? And they, st they start talking like, in the last like quarter of the game being like, oh Dante was collecting these things the entire game. It's like, was he? <laughs> yeah, that was that was awful. I couldn't even be bothered playing through the the campaign with the, the introduced second character. Red's down pretty far. I can probably focus the blue now. If they like me. So he's like the best game in the franchise. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. I've never played 5, so I'm kind of interested to see what that's like. 4 was the first one I ever played. He's going to be instantly dead. You'll be rewarded a lot for working with different weapons and styles, etc. Cool. Alright, he should take basically one shot from the Ebony and Ivory and be dead. I'll just stab. Stab works. That's another weapon added to the arsenal. And my name is Rudra. You shall take us with you. We can be a great help to you. Okay. But on one condition. What is it? Name it. No. Talking. <laughs> Fair enough.
little bit of combos in this game is great. Stealth points can get you better mission ranks and stuff, which give you more red orbs. Yeah, that's the thing I thought was really cool about this game, how you could basically just go go back to previous missions <laughs> and just grind up red orbs. But I'm going to try and not do that as much as I can. The first time I tried to play through this game, I think I basically just went back to level 1 and 2 over and over and over again. <laughs> they just grind for a while. But I've not done that yet this playthrough, because I've not felt the need. You can only equip up two different weapons for each weapon type. You can change the equipment at the beginning of each mission as well as, <coughs> as any divinity statue. Cool. And of course we don't currently have them equipped because, oh, there's a statue right outside this door, isn't there? There's only mis one mission that really sucks in this game. People usually grind just for that one. I wouldn't blame you for it. Yeah, I reckon I probably know what it is when I see it. Cutscene time. He's absolutely kicking ass. Alright, there's no way that would work in real life. <laughs> Honestly, why the hell am I looking for realism in this game? <laughs> also, if you're interested in doing combos, I'd recommend the Swordmaster style. It helps a lot with dealing damage and it doesn't take away the side roll that you can use as a dodge. <clears throat> While looking into this game a wee bit, I've seen people mention that they recommend getting the trickster style all the way up to 3 and then working in the rest of them. I don't know why, but I assume that you must get something really good at the end of that style. I'm kind of tempted to get that, but I don't think I'll need that for a long time. Swap out Cerberus. Trickster is when you're just getting into the game and want to learn the basics, you know? Ah, right, okay. Alright, cool. Let's swap away this then. Give this a bit of a try. I think I'd probably be using Rebellion a lot more than everything else. Oh, trust me, you want the gold orbs only if you want to grind for that one mission. Alright. I kind of figured I'd need them later on, didn't I? Because people always say this is the hardest of my cry. Apart from certain parts of 4, I remember 4 being annoying as shit with some of the bosses. 
Like that one priest guy. Oh, what the hell was this? I don't love much with Cerberus or Agni and Radiant. That was my mistake in my first playthrough, not labbing different weapons and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of kind of easy to just get set in your ways. So you just you're so accustomed to certain weapon move sets that you just it's hard to budge for them. So yeah, maybe I should give these a try because they do look pretty cool. For what I've gathered so far, the hardest would be one if you count every game for the daunting must die difficulty. Yeah, I suppose it kind of changes the rules a wee bit when you think it in that difficulty, doesn't it? That nightmare boss, oh my god, I freaking hated that boss in that game. All the games so far, that's probably my most hated boss fight, that goddamn nightmare. Stage 3, obviously. It's basically just the combination of the camera angles that does it. Wisdom will be put to the test in the chamber ahead. Use your lifetime experience. For crawling the infinite to the man standing tall and finally to the old man leaning on his cane. Okay. They made labbing out weapons a bit more fun in this game because they all have the same command inputs. They still all do different things. Alright, so basically... You don't really need to learn much different controls, it's just the way you, you fight with them is different. Cool. Alright, so that's one, so we went through one, number two. Alright, let's give these a whirl. Whoa, that just wrecked him super quick. Alright, these guys need to get out of the way so I can deal with these gargoyles, sons of bitches. They are getting completely owned by this weapon. This is brilliant. Alright, so that was two, and then it's three after this. Why is that even like they're still an enemy here? Unless I, I must have made a mistake. Yeah. Alright, so we'll go back through one again. Nah, that's the, that's the exit. I guess I need to read this. Again. Crawling infant to the man standing tall and finally to the old man leaning his cane. Ah, right. I see what they're trying, trying to state here. Four, two, three. Four, two, three. of intelligence and palpable knowledge of the ancient ones. Offer this to the goddess to open a new path. Awesome. Alright, so where's number one? There it is. Nice, thanks. Yeah, I've heard that riddle so many times. <laughs> Not an exact wording, mind you, but... Your techniques will be put to alright, so that's basically just boss rush, but not boss rush, so enemy rush. Your warrior's heart will be put to the test in the chamber ahead. Light all the crests to suppress the evil spirits range. Let's try this one first, because we know what the middle one's gonna be.
So basically I need to light them up while I'm getting constantly attacked. Oh crap. Yep, yeah, it's a wee bit hard. But no difficulty should be alright, cool. Yeah, I was actually really close to selecting the easy difficulty because I heard that the original version of this game normal was hard mode. In the American version, but the Western version. I'm looking down these guys way too much. They've got so much more health this time. See it so basically oh crap oh crap oh crap that's why I need to take care of the those things because you get powered up because of it point block talk. thank you I need to get back over there soundtrack is ever still a bang over this game and wouldn't you know it as soon as I dealt with that one the other one Turned off. Come on, come on, go! Hurry! Super lucky some of those enemies dropped health. Essence of Fighting. The Fighting Spirit of the Ancient Ones. Office to the Goddess. Okay. One left. Okay, so we put to the test in chamber. All the come out on sites of obstacles to get on. Maybe it isn't going to be a. Just a rush of enemies. Maybe it generally is going to be an obstacle. Yep. This looks like it's going to be fun. <laughs> ah, shit. properly in my head. Or not. There we are. Ins of essence of technique. Masterful techniques of the ancient ones of the goddess. Yep, there we are. Oh shit! Thanks. Don't even think I took a hit there. Come on, happen. Thank you. And 
that site wrapped up. Let's see what's up next. Do you have a combo with the rebellion? I'm not sure if I do. I don't think I can check in this menu. I think I'd have to go back to one of the statues. Oh, there. That's convenient. <laughs> that rebellion. Could do upgrading Stinger again. No, I mean like a combo that you use. Ah, no, no nothing in particular. Not an action, right, okay. Right. There we go. Nothing happened. Next one. Interesting. What about if I put the next one on? Artemis, isn't that that gun from the first game? Gun of the Demon World, that this, yeah that's the exact same thing from the first game. And give you some basic combos. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I remember I mentioned some combos at the start of the game. I think it was what? Triangle, wait a bit, then triangle again, and then something along those lines. Yeah, I'm on a PlayStation control. PlayStation 4 control, to be precise. Come on, come on, come on, fuck me. I think I get what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to get up to E, yep. And that's a complete blue orb. Triangle delay, triangle high, high time. Alright, cool. I think I've done that a few times by accident. <laughs> Right to the face. And launch. <laughs> I can't recall if she shows up in Double May Cry 4. I think she does. Can some of the character in this one, it, it, she seemed a lot more muted when I seen her the, the other time. Can't wait to get back on it. Don't we cry for? <laughs> See when I first played that, and I, I was playing as uh, what was his name? Nero. Yeah, Nero. 
for like the first half of the game. When you meet Dante and I had no idea who the hell Dante was. Because <laughs> I hadn't played the other games. That was a good timing. Well, this is my kind of rain. No wonder the sky looks so funny today. Let me go. Let you go? That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> but it would be a waste if the end of it was just a pretty stain. <laughs> no, no, I remember the upper cars. There we go, mission 7. This is the furthest I've gotten. Once this is done, it'll be new ground. Guess we'll get some upgrades for this, I suppose. Ah, oh, I don't have enough. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so let's practice that actually. See what the hell is down here. Oh, puzzle. Cool. Oh, ho -ho. I see. I'm on seven. Thanks for the follow, Sans. It's appreciated. And we got an Ori Calcum fragment. You can have some fun. Awesome. <laughs> Is this the level you were talking about, I'm guessing? So far, has it been easy to figure out the boss patterns? It's been not bad. As long as I don't panic and worry about taking too much damage, yeah. Now the really hard mission is mission 19, so you're good. Oh, awesome. I do remember Virgil being in this mission. That's basically all I remember from it. At least I think he has. I'm, pr no, I'm pretty sure he has. So I didn't get further on this, I'm... yeah, it's got to be. Well, 
one other question, okay. Have you gotten the easy mode that is now selectable screen? Mm, no. I could select between easy and normal from the start. But I'm guessing that's mostly uh, I'm guessing that's because I've already played through some parts of the game years ago. It was twenty eighteen. The first time I played this game. <laughs> and the last the last time I played the game. <laughs> is this a door? Nope, that's not a door. I was not doing this well the first time I played through the game, like, I was doing dreadful. But I think that's probably because I didn't play 1, 2 and 3 like back to back like I've been doing for the stream. Got a quote for you to remember. Awesome. Let's hear it. <laughs> Hopefully it's insightful, like something from Oscar Wilde or something. <laughs> Alright, where, where are we? Oh, it says a door up here. And there's a there's an open bit out here. Where's your motivation? Yeah, that that is a good one. That's a straight up good quote right there <laughs> to motivate you to just well, literally motivate you to just get pumped and try your hardest. Shimmy this properly so we can get this blue orb. Can't seem to get the angle right on this. Maybe I need to unlock that ability. Uh, no, I've actually not stumbled across any secret missions this time. I do remember when I played it before, I'd, I stumbled on one that was a complete freaking nightmare. And it wrecked my health bar for the rest of the mission. <laughs> this game has quite a ton of secret missions, I just beat the last one. My health is pretty big. <laughs> Would you get like buffs and things from doing the secret missions or is it just like red orbs and green orbs? I recall them from Democrat 1 and 2 but I remember that just mostly be Actually no there was upgrades wasn't there? Was there? <laughs> Emmy's not helping me out here. <laughs> yeah, let's go through the blue one. Alright, more of these. Let's jump. Ah, right, that that would make them really worthwhile. I bet that has like a shit ton of replay value to this game. You get to the end and you build up a massive health bar to the point where you just blitz them through the game. <laughs> I need to count them in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, currently. Yeah, nine. Oh, nice. Free health item. Alright, what the hell is this? A stone pillar embroidered with skulls. A similar pillar lies to the right. Something appears to be missing. Alright, yeah. So basically just go in here. And so you can still get 11 bars. Well, bars are better, honestly. Why does this ring a bell? It's not a good thing that this rings a bell. Ah, oh, shit, I 
remember these guys. I don't remember them being funny fight either. Saying that, this is actually not going too bad. Oh shit, where the hell did you guys come from? These guys are going down super easy, actually. Done. Uh, you can buy a few gold orbs from the shop though. Which are the best things ever to buy. Yeah, because it basically gives you a free revive, doesn't it? Siren Shriek, so that'll be for that door. The sorrowful shriek of the siren camps even the most ferocious of flames. Oh wait, no, no, that could be used for that bit at the bottom of the tower. Suppose if I went back to that mission I could activate that. What's this door? I feel like I should fall back. Oh no, gold, sorry, alright. I'm, I'm guessing you mean, yeah, blue. Blue, yeah. Alright, so that's not what we we're supposed to be putting in there. I've seen some people online say that they recommend getting the purple orbs. I'm guessing that, that that's for the, the devil trigger. They recommended that over the blue ones. I wouldn't really know. Right, what the fuck is this? Ah, this is just a standard one, okay. Oh, killing this one's worth it, cool. I'll keep at it then. Ah, oh, right, so... Right, I've got you. Use Sting on high time to vary it. Right, okay. Fuck! Yeah, I remember. No, 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 fuck! <laughs> oh my god, fuck, I lost concentration. Oh 
Oh my god, it's really fucking tight in the timing with us. You can do air attacks with the circle. Oh, right, okay. Alright, cool. Almost frickin' had it. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that was a fucking... Uh, that was painful. Oh! I've never had to do that, that much variance of combos so that's all the, these games, honest to god. <sighs> Good. Just in the off chance I'm going to do a save because fuck doing that again. It's painful at first, but it teaches you how to combo. You start doing that in enemies too. They won't, re they won't resist. Yeah, I really, really should, because it just allows you to flow a lot faster without giving them a chance to counterattack. The other control panel, there's not enough power to operate it. All right, there we go. It's probably going to trigger boss, not boss, um, enemies here, isn't it? Nope. Surprisingly. I just went the wrong way, didn't I? Ah, yeah, that's cool. Ah, we're back down here again. It's things like this that just remind me of Castlevania. The game kind of feels like the first Double May Cry campaign with Castlevania a wee bit. How are we doing for points? Hmm. Alright, another skill. Kill, kill, kill. Upgrade Stinger. Alright, so that's then maxed out. Kill. Cool. I would just save it for air, air hike. Alright, we can 
can get through this fire. Crimson flames twist and dance around the door, keeping all would be trespassers at bay. And done. Yeah, heck is great too. Yeah, so I need to save up the 20,000 for that. Ooh, I, I feel like I. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'll take it. I'll take it. I was thinking maybe I'd save it, but. Okay, what? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, backtrack. I just went back to the door. Oh my god. <laughs> you can take it and save it. It doesn't make you use it if you die. It get oh, okay. Cool. I'll definitely be saving it there because I'm. I am not using it unless it's like a really hard boss fight. Even then, I've beaten every single boss up to this point with no items. I know a lot of people say Cerberus is like really freaking hard. But after going hammer his heads, it goes in pretty fast. <laughs> right, what the fuck is this? Oh, f oh no, I, I, I know this. Oh my god, I know this room. I remember this being a freaking nightmare. Can't remember why, but... Okay. Cerberus is only hard because you don't get of things when you go to him because he's a first actual boss. Ah right, so it's, it's basically because you've not like unlocked any other weapons and things. Hmm. Some people don't even have Stinger when they reach Cerberus. Assuming what I need to do here is I just need to do a certain threshold of damage to that thing before it and then blows up. Problem is it's freaking penduluming back and forth, which is the issue. I think it's almost done. I almost had it there. <laughs> I honestly think I, I was actually stuck on this <laughs> for hours when I first played this. Because I couldn't combo for shit. I still can't particularly, but <laughs> there we go. Crystal skull, an eerie sculpture made of magic crystal. It seems to be a piece of a larger creation. Or was it this that was, was the issue? Oh my fucking god. What? Don't you freaking dare. Continue. I 
I'm just saying if you do the actions enough during combos, you'll get used to things, so you can start to demolish them every time. Yeah, I'm trying to do that right now. Which is, what I think, what half the problem with that fight was there. I was trying to do the combos, and I was <laughs> just not dodging well enough. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're doing time now, we're three hours in. Come on, you son of a bitch, give me health. God, okay. Alright, these guys are starting to piss me the fuck off. I get even more used to it, I only use guns when I know I really need to use them. Like when I need to kill the red bats to the bomb guys. That's basically what I did in... Actually, no, that's a lie. I was about to say that's what I did in Dead Cry 1, but Dead Man Cry 1, I basically just demolished enemies with a shotgun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to just focus on the salt. And then just save the guns for, for example, doing like air juggles, that kind of thing. And those red, red flying things, aye. Alright, so we got that. What, what did we actually pick up there? <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oh, we picked up that skull, so we just head back up and we put it into that thing. Part of the reason that I do that is also because I hate how Dimmy Cry 3 made you use guns a lot. <clears throat> yeah, because guns were super goddamn strong in that. Basically, all you had to do in, in Devil Cry 2 was activate Devil Trigger, use the guns, and. Or use the elevator. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Where's this fucking elevator again? <laughs> My memory is just absolutely atrocious. Ah, there is. There is. Awesome. Yeah, that room there with the enemies, I was stuck in that for forever. Last time I played this, I think it was just because the guys kept coming on off screen and just doing like cheap shots. Not bad, it only took like, what, two attempts. Just there. 
Are you mentally prepared? Ooh, we'll see. At least I've got the revive sitting ready. I've also got a free heal I picked up along the way. Which I'm... No, I'm not going to use it. <sighs> Alright, Shadow Buddy. How's it going? Thanks for popping in. I don't remember this fight being too bad. Weirdly enough. Oh shit. Alright, we're not at the boss yet. How goes it, bro? Not bad. I'm just landing the final points I did with Cry 3. Ah, good old D DMC, yeah. Okay. First boss again. I need to st stop letting him get a counter off. Yeah, I just keep letting him do it. Alright, so you can roll with the side of that attack, got you. Okay, that was cheap. I just got killed by the door. Yeah, game, you can fuck off. I am not using that there. Yeah. I'll say that as many times as possible. I am not freaking using that. You gotta keep rolling to the side every time your attack gets blocked instead of jumping. Yeah, I think it's way too much of a... Just like a normal response to me to just jump out the way of things. I don't even know where the hell I got that from. I think probably the previous games. Alright, so that's where the enemies are coming from. I just kind of assumed they were spawned and backed them up. There we go. You had get eventually. Okay, fucked it that time. He is definitely tougher than his boss one variant. Cheating son of a bitch using the door again. And done. That was that was really sloppy. Alright, just plug this in. Oh thanks for nothing a bit, Shadow. It's appreciated. Thank you very much. Getting her down is important because she's not the only one who can block. Alright. 
Oh, I remember this corridor. Though. Yeah, so a lot of these levels I'm um, seen as basically just a tutorial to get yourself for the rest of the game. Alright, we're at 7,000 odd. Then you get up to 20,000. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother buying anything. That's the point. I might actually save up for one of these. No, we still do need three more. And here we are. Go time. The last thing I did in my first playthrough. <laughs> I wonder what that says about the level after this then. <laughs> If that's basically just where I stopped. Yo, know I might not even get stuck the first time, so I might just get distracted at some point. Remember the quote? Where's your motivation? I remember this actually being super goddamn fun. This fight. Oh! Son of a bitch! Oh yeah, see, let's see what the practice was. Oh, okay. He's gonna take some practice. Nope, game, fuck off. I just need to get them learned. Then once I've figured them out, we should be in a good chance of getting through without using any items. Okay, so le the less I can use items going forward, the better. I always save them for when I'm really stuck. Same with grinding as well. When he starts to combo you, that's also cute. You spam the side rule. Okay. Get the hang it.
Oh, fuck. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. There. So that's what I like to see. Don't even let him breathe. Yeah, just put all the pressure on. I feel bad for anyone in real life that actually thinks that saws can be used to block bullets. <laughs> I don't even let him see it. <laughs> He has the bonus power and that probably would give him enough speed to blow bullets. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a hell of a strong sword then. Back to typical Virgil. Yo, I can't even bring myself to play the Ninja Theory DMC game because holy god is Whoa. And that's us done for the count. With our own sword no less. I guess, is that going to turn it to be Mundus or something? Oh, there we go. Oh, Virgil, you weren't expecting that, were you? Devil Trigger. It's always funny how the how that form is always different in basically every single freaking game. <laughs> How many more missions we can go through? I've got about just under an hour to go. So far, so so good. It's actually going quite well. <laughs> I thought I'd be bashing my head against the wall for ages. I guess I was just shit at this game last time I played it. back up.
Music in this game is fantastic. Oh, and there we go. With shit like this, you can see why this is a lot of people's favourite DMC game. Bye-bye, Tower. Oh. Alright, now we're inside the wheel. Right, how many red orbs do we have currently? We have 14,000, we need 6,000 more. It's like, is this rebellion got upgraded there? I wonder if he's got more upgrade options there. Nah. <laughs> Stinger's still stuck at level 2. Let's wait a wee bit and we'll get your air hike. This one is pretty quick mission if you know where you're going. Kill. Cool. So basically we need to destroy these things and oh yep devil trigger three devil trigger gauges to transform into demon form press and hold l1 for a brief period that then release to catch nearby enemies and transformation flocks ah right so transforming actually does damage to them cool 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 Ah, see, see what you mean by, if you know where you're going, it's quick, because basically you just need to track all these down. So that's one, two, three, four. Four more. Here's the next one. Oh, actually, what is this? Is a platform up here? Alright, that's back. That's up to that door. Kill, kill. I have to wonder, this looks very similar to that ship in the first game, but it's probably, probably not. The fuck is this? Oh, a secret mission. Hmm. A transformation flux isn't something you're going to use yet. It's more for when you get maxed out in devil trigger bars. Right, okay. Radio elevator to the top, this one's pretty easy. Basically just just what we did earlier on. Activated, cool. And on we go. And the pearl dump, because of course they are. Motherfuckers! This mission is hard, but if you get tricked, though, there's a little thing you can do to cheese it. Ah, uh, yeah, this this seems like it'd be a freaking nightmare. Let me guess, I need to destroy all of them within a certain time limit, or the elevator goes back down again. Back up we go. Hi guys. Oh no, here they come. Know how in tricks you can run up wall? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, this is actually a son of a bitch. If you got the elevator and run up the wall around it, the enemies will lit. Oh, that's that's such that is such cheese. And I'm dead. There's only two left. But they had this human spawn me in. I wasn't here. Ah, over here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's try that again. If you want to restart the mission for that, do it. You're just going to start the mission. What time will it take for you anyway? Yeah, sure, why not? So probably Trickstar. Kill, kill, kill. Alright, well, like, when you're well, hold the left stick towards the wall and sit right. Kill, kill, kill. And we're back. I must be a freaking nightmare to do that legit. Cause holy sh holy shit. All <laughs> those enemies resilient. And activate. I'm getting the feeling that secret missions are pretty much intended for you to come back to them. After you've done like a few levels and built up your 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 styles and weapons, I suppose. Oh fuck! Shit, I think I almost had it. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> I made a massive hash of that there. Something like that, I'm just not getting it. I guess I has to get up to a certain wall for you to be able to do that. Oh crap. Okay, you guys can go fuck off. I'm gonna assume, like, we get, like, midway up, and that's when you start doing it. Alright, that was completely 100% wrong. Ah, Joe, I know... I know what we get is that blue shard, but holy shit, these guys are pissing me off.
Does it need to be like a particular wall? Like I'm guessing what I did earlier where I hopped off, ran up the wall and then backflipped on is basically the way to do it. But I kind of missed the backflip. Yeah, because that's, that's just not working. I'll try it one more time. You jump up the wall, press circle, and you'll you walk up the wall. Oh, so you don't hold circle. Maybe that's why I'm making a mistake. No, no, you do need to hold to the circle. Ah, I see the enemies just disappeared there. <sighs> Fuck sake. I see me do it when I'm not close enough to the wall because he seems to just do like a blink. Yeah, I see what you're trying to say. He's even doing it in the ground floor, just makes him disappear. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm just not getting close enough to the wall, I need to do a double jump. I just kick off Suckle way too soon. shit at this. I am genuinely shit at this. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm gonna die for this. No, oh, actually, I suppose I could do that. Oh, no. This will be the last time we do it, because I'm evidently not skilled enough to do this exploit. Oh, for fuck's sake, every goddamn time I try and do it. Oh wait, no, no, I basically had it. I basically had it. Fuck. No, I'm uh, no, I'm really. No, 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 fuck! I keep forgetting that these spawns them. Jesus Christ! Oh, 
I know, I, I might have the hang, hang of it now. I just need to make sure I don't like run to the side, as I've been doing. See, if I have the capture card, this probably wouldn't be less of a problem. It's because there's a slight delay between what I'm pressing and what actually happens in the freaking game. Which is causing problems. Okay, what? Come on, despawn, you son of a bitch! There we go. No, but actually, this is the last time. Feels like I've been at this for like 20 minutes, but it's probably just been 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. Alright, just two more to go. Shit. This reminds me very much of that level at the end of Devil May Cry 1. Were you going through hell? It's got the same acid pits and everything. Last one. Uh, just one left. Ah, oh, you son of a. B Ugh. God damn it. Alright, where's this last one at? I assume it's on the pirate ship. Which it probably ain't, but fuck it, I'm gonna check anyway. Nah, it's not on the pirate ship. I see a blue thing there though. Oh, there is. There is. Awesome. I love acid flows. It's great. Really moisturizes the feet. <laughs> Just a wee bit more and we can get that upgrade. They're going to rise ferociously on the other side of the membrane wall. Kind of getting closer now. Awesome. Okay. It's the phantom scene again from Dead May Cry 1. Okay, these guys are easy as shit. Which is funny, because we're in the frickin' intestines.
just absolutely disappeared there. Ignis Fatus. Souls are these of those sent to hell for the sin of jealousy. They are the Vithan's energy oh, yeah. source. Oh, you just lost one energy source. Why'd you keep your energy source inside your backside? It's a very strange place to be keeping that. Alright, so we got one. So basically, we just need to go all the way through this maze until we find another one. Oh, maybe I can just check the map actually. Oh, I can. Cool. There's a doorway down that yellow bit. So now that I look at it, I think I may have missed that turn back here. Did I? Maybe I'm just misreading the map. Did I misread the map? I can't really tell. It's just telling me I'm inside this area. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Ah, it's something if you're gonna going back, right? So there's not as many options as I thought there was. Maybe not. Ah, this again. Oh, ice cold. That's unfortunate. We don't have that weapon with us, isn't it? <laughs> That's the same, that. That's my count. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that doesn't count, even though one of the swords is ace. Oh, come on. You son of a bitch. I just backtracked that. Oh my god, fuck. Alright, I'm starting to see why this might have been the level I stopped playing at. Since we're back here, at least I can swap. Agnes and Rudra. Out for Cerberus. Same. Yeah, I just did that. I was expecting I was going to have to find three of those things, but no. See, these guys aren't really a bad thing. Unless you're trying to freaking cause damage to a boss, they aren't. Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, I was about to say, this boss seems too easy. <laughs> then this son of a bitch just revived himself. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap.
Okay, that was a fuck up on my part. Can you guys fuck off? Holy shit. <sighs> the boss isn't even that bad, it's just trying to pay attention to everything at the same time as a pain in the backside. I just need to get used to dodging the, the enemies. What's happening if I destroy both of them at the same time? So it just basically keeps it active longer. Yeah, this is doable. Oh, shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Wait, what? White orb? Okay. That's nice game for basically giving me almost all my health back. That was nice. Okay, okay, you're not being nice anymore. finish off a fucking boss that brings on another phase. You did not just heal with a freaking green orb, did you, you stupid boss? No, no, no! Oh, thank god. Wait, did I? Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, the frame rate is freaking out. 
Done. And it's proof it's the first thing doing that. <laughs> Trophy. Can you feel it? Rage and agony of the people. Those who were confined here. Hmm. Where are they? With their desires for evil being unfulfilled. It was all because Sparta slammed the door to the demon world in their faces. What's wrong? My bet is that get that old guy is Mundus. He's just taking him for a ride. Actually, maybe not. I think I, I'm not sure if it was if they say in the lore like he goes and meets Mundus after this game or what. Alright, done. B, nice. Yeah, we saving. We'll do one more mission, and we're probably gonna have to wrap up. How many missions are? Oh, how many missions is there in total in this game? I'm gonna assume around twenty odd, since twenty two was the amount you got in the first game. I think it was uh, 22, 23. Oh, this is fun. Oh, mission thing's pretty solid. Mm, I'll, have a, I'll have a good go at it. If it ends up being a really freaking hard, I might just call it for the day. Because I need to go get my dinner. Here's Dante. Not gonna shoot us now, are you? I suppose you probably wouldn't find a point at this stage, would she? Oh, oh, Mr. Jester. So this is the next stage. Wait. Don't they straight up breaking the fourth wall? He hasn't changed your dynamic. And that's how she got the name Lady. I was wondering how the hell she got the name. <laughs> Turns out it's just because Dante's really bad at naming shit. <laughs> I think we should have enough now. Yeah, we have more than enough now to get your hike. There we go, perfect. By concentrating magical energy into the air under your feet, you're able to perform a double jump to reach higher, more strategic. So, X and Media. Awesome. Can't go wrong with that. And we're currently sitting on. Oh, yeah, fuck, I completely forgot I got that weapon. It was trash in the first game. I don't even know if I can. Be bored using it in this game. I'm perfectly happy with Ebony and Ivory, to be honest. Hmm. I could get another. I could get a purple orb. I could. I suppose I could save it for another blue orb. It's probably better doing that. Because the Devil Trigger wasn't that impressive. But maybe that's just because I don't have enough orbs just yet. Ah, it's one of these freaking levels again. Awesome.
Okay. Oh, wonderful spiders. I see these things stack up. A Gideon credit has got a lot of enemy variety. Alright, love that. Oh! Now get the air striking, air hiking effect. And done. But I'm guessing more are gonna spawn in. Yep. I'll say about Devil Trug in this game is it seems to be readily available. So again, that looks pretty simple. Basically, just redirect the light puzzle. Right, What's this? Radiate the image sunken into the depths below to open a new path. All right, cool, cool, cool. Be destroying them is not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, destroying them is very much not a good idea. Right, that respawns them. Awesome. Right, so I'm gonna assume this is the f yeah, that's the first step. Awesome. Then, uh, yeah, easy. I think what's an arch is an arch you can't reach. <laughs> I'll say that so they're really shit that hit me. Holy crap. Oh, never mind. little bugger. Done. Alright, what is over this way? Hmm. Yeah, apparently that platform doesn't do anything. Mm, yeah, the platform definitely doesn't do anything. Saying that, I'm not really seeing much else to interact with. Oh, there's a door. <laughs> Completely missed the obvious big ass door. Well done. 
Or something about that platform though, it seems to... The screen seems to give a certain amount of focus to it, but maybe I'm just overthinking. Hmm. Oh, shit. Environment puzzles and enemies. Which I just jumped right into, well done. back up to full health for that. Awesome. Alright, where's this? More puzzles? There's some. How many red, red uh, thingies do I have right now? I think it's important. It's starting to get a decent amount. Ooh, there's a thingy down, down there. Charge from the heavens. The one to oh my god, fuck me. Ah oh well, I guess we're not getting that right now. Oh, wasn't expecting this. I've never been more glad to at least learn some combos. <laughs> Alright, head up over here, have a wee look, grab that thing, and then I assume use that in the next the area we just came from. What the fuck is this? Relief on a nude female is carved in the door. It looks like something can be placed in the woman's hands. It's probably that thing I seen like right across the room. How the fuck did Alright, so I can't get there from here. I need to find another way in. Unless. No, I got a feeling that's probably not gonna reach, is it? Just in case. The game decides to be a bastard and just ends to kill me for some freaking reason. Yeah, it's just an invisible wall. Oh well. We have to figure a, a pathway towards that then. And come all the way back here. Oh, what is this? Don't you pick the thing up? Thank you. And that's all that's in here. Where's up here? That's absolutely bugger all. <laughs> I would, I would seem. Go back in there in a wee bit. Alright, so there's nothing over there. But I need to get up here. So I assume just 
jump up here. Yes. Yep. Don't over the. Ah, oh, that one. Come on. Come on. And do. There we go. And up we are. Nice. Right, so what is this? Ooh. A rifle? A sniper rifle? Right, just jump down here, invisible wall, because why the fuck not? I just real life had invisible walls. Be a massive pain in the ass. I bet that was what insects feel like. Because they don't know what glass is, so they just constantly bash their face off it. <laughs> Alright, so I can't reach that because the bridge isn't extended. The world's restore the mass sacred energy. And the power to part oceans will be yours, as written. Cool. Where's this door? This looks fun. Yeah, fuck that. This guy's going down all the way from over here. There we go. I would have just been asking for it if I just went through that while that guy was still breathing. Right, now this is a wee bit trickier. Just need to fire as quickly as I can to get this guy dealt with. I'm not playing the game's game here. I'm only walking through this when there's no enemies there. This looks... Oh, thank god, I thought I'd been here already. Ambrosia, for the man can have been to even touch, it's said to unlock the door to paradise. That'll be the one we need to give that, that statue. Oh Christ, oh Christ. Can you assholes stop moving so quick? And your body's dead. That's such a crying shame, isn't it? Okay, I so dodged that. Bullshit game. Bullshit. <laughs> and dead. We'll cut in hell half as well, nice. Can you stop moving? Fuck me. And that should be that finished. Full time. Oh my god, of course, of course they rev the freaking game revived these bastards. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Kill. Cool. Alright, we've got 10,000 red orbs. Let's see if that was enough. Take it. No, we still need 5,000. So far, that's not too bad. Could be a, a lot worse. Guy, they can still get harder. <laughs> I can see that happening.
dann... Just put this into our hands, done. Opens the door. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> I was expecting a cutscene there. Let me guess, vampire. This is so Castlevania esque. This is where we're gonna get the lightning. Alright, time we land the palms. Alright, that very much doesn't work. Oh wait, no, 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 we're good, we're good. So basically, I just need to reduce the amount of bats she's got around now. Yeah, I've got a base deal down. She shouldn't be too bad. I might die here, but I'm basically figured out how to fuck the beat her. Not even bothered by that. And skip. Let's go. That is quite annoying though. <laughs> I also wouldn't mind if Dante had like a run button. Yeah, again, for the last fucking time, let's stop telling me to revive. That would be amazing. Can you imagine if I bought like a shit ton of them for the last boss? <laughs> it just kept, kept coming back again and again and again. I thought I had our team there. Yeah, I'm probably going to die again. It's almost halfway though. Oh, you cheating bitch. Yeah, the problem is, I'm just getting too greedy. I'm just trying to get out. 
down to a point where I can do damage and not even trying to dodge our attacks. Oh you bitch, you did something new there. Jump is actually really handy for us. Freaking bitch. Oh crap, oh crap. No, 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 fuck. Okay, she's starting to piss me off now. Can you stop jumping around? <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. She's fudgy. She's not even that hard per se, it's just... Oh, it's just dodging her shit. Oh, you freaking! Oh, you're kidding me! I'm thinking locking onto her has actually caused me more problems than it's worth. Right, Avoid, avoided that. Kill. Cool. And she's been a bitch again. <laughs> I hate you so much. This evasion bullshit is taking the piss. Keep almost getting down to halfway as well. Starting to memorize shit. We got past the halfway point. I'm guessing the mission is basically just gonna be done after this.
just <laughs> just avoided that. Nice. Damn it, time that gives you fuck me. All right, kill. Got too greedy. Oh, you bitch. I don't think that was going to hit me because I was that far away. Oh, great. I think that's... Oh, God damn it. I didn't think I got that in time. Past halfway point. Cool. Yay, well then that's fucking crap again. <laughs> Love doing that. No, you bitch! Dodge, fuck. Oh, God damn it. No, fuck. Oh, God, I'm super dead. Using that. So close. The muscle memory's getting there. Bit by bit. So the best thing you do there is just beat that out.
grateful they missed again. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I hate that move of hers. I also hate when I can't freaking see that coming. <laughs> no! Fuck me. What the- Oh my god! Fuck! She just healed herself, didn't she? Fuck! I'm super dead. Yep, I'm super fucking dead. Well... I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going until we get this done. Which I reckon probably won't be long. Right, baited. Yeah, get ready. Buy some proper orbs just saying taunt near an enemy refills to a devil trick. Oh, does it? Fuck, I didn't know that. Oh, I fucking hate when she does this move. More than anything. Oh, God. God, oh Oh, you bitch! How did that even hit? Oh my god, I've fucking seen that coming as well. Oh, she is such a bitch. Just focus, 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 focus. Ah, oh, fuck me.
Oh my god, I fucking hate her for this. Oh, fuck off. Absolute bitch. Alright, there we go. We're not winning this time though. I've lost way too much fucking hell. Fuck this, I'm using a green heal knight. There we go. Should hopefully be enough to get us through this. Oh my god, she went longer than usual that time. No! Fuck, 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 fuck! Done. Ah, oh, she was a pain in the ass. My sweet. <laughs> right in the stomach. You'd think so, wouldn't you? All right. I'll help you. I love how he's basically just recruiting all the bosses. <laughs> What is she going to turn into? Ooh! Oh, it's a freaking guitar! <laughs> of course. Nevin. Dante can control bats by jamming in his curious guitar. His sicko attack is deadly. Best male character in video game history. Take a female boss and turns her into electric guitar. Yeah, that's just that's just metal right there. Oh! There's a lady. It's an interesting feeling because, considering it's a younger Dante, it's, I guess he must have chilled out the older he got. 
Because in one he's a lot more reserved than this. Right, first game, so. Give a bit of leeway. Welcome back. Jeez, how many guns does she bloody well have? <laughs> Uh, mission done. Take five minutes, for fuck's sake. That took longer. I probably would have liked. Alright, that says on mission 10. Soon we will reach the lair of Where the hell are they going? Yeah, for some reason I figured this game was going to take place entirely in that tower. Oh, is this where the power is going to be imbued into those amulets? Maybe. I'm not actually asking for the answer, I'm just theorizing my own head. He's so gonna stab him in the back at the end of this. There's no way he's not. Does that woman really bother you? Should I try that voice line again, Nero? Not Nero. Virgil, fuck's sake. Perhaps because she's your daughter. Did some pesky fatherly love get in your way? That's none of your Oh, To further your study of the Black Arts, you sacrificed your loving woman to become one of Delphi's realm. Knowing this, I thought you'd be more used oh, to Oh, that's cold. But I was wrong. No wonder your attainment of power is incomplete. I mean, I knew he was an asshole, but holy shit. <laughs> Doing for red orbs. <clears throat> I see if we can get any upgrades in before I finish up. Uh, that's rebellion fully upgraded. Oh yeah, that's what I was saving them up for, wasn't it? A blue orb. There we go. That's another thing of health. Good, good, good. Three of six. I'm quite happy with myself, I've not had to grind once in the game so far, at all. That shows playing Devil May Cry 1 and 2 back to back before this actually helped me out a wee bit. <laughs> Alright, quit. And there we go. It's back to the main menu. Alright guys, thank you very much for popping in today. I very much appreciate it. I won't be on for the next week annoyingly because I'm doing like a lot of renovation and changing carpets, changing wallpaper, all that crap annoyingly. I really can't be bothered, but what can you do? When it needs to be done, it needs to be done. Alright, let's see who's on so we can read out. Hopefully there is someone on. Have a bad... Ooh, pun. Pun's on, we can hop over him. Doo, 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 doo. That's a rarity, I usually can't actually time his streams, so this is good. Great, my freaking P button's like, oh no, that's brilliant. Do, 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 do. Q. 
secure this up. There we go. Alright guys, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in a week's time. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do with myself during that period. Alright, bye-bye.